Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Triangle Strategy. Last time we left off, we were hanging out here on these boats, and uh, this is actually a pretty difficult battle. I don't remember, have I lost anyone yet? Yes, I did lose Roland. I have lost Roland. How am I doing QP-wise? We have one critical blow left, and that is all. Okay, so not a lot that we can do. I still have Narv, Frederica, and Archibald hanging out over here. I obviously do not want to send Archibald in there. Um, not right now, at least. Let's send you over here and just wait for a bit. Choices, choices. Um, so what do I want you to do? Shadow fan, elemental magic damage. That does a lot of damage. That green mist. It is quite good. Lower an enemy strength and magic attack for three turns and steal one TP. What I would really like to do is um. Yeah, you. Don't you have to be right beside them to do that, though? Yeah, unfortunately. I wanted to lower Evlora's attack and stuff, but um, I don't think that's in the cards right now. Um, let's just focus on uh, killing this dork, I guess. Let's do that. Dance poison. And, um... Oh, I probably should have jumped out of here. Well, I can only really be attacked by you. So, let's just do that. Um, what do I want to do with you, Sarah Noah? Delaying strike on you. Under Conviction's banner. I could also sweeping slash. That would only hit two people, though. Hawk dive would obviously do a little bit more damage. Um, under Conviction's banner. Who would I... I'd restore a pretty good amount of TP to everybody, but... I think I'd rather do damage. Medina's turn is still pretty far away. I think I might just do this. I don't really want Saranoa to die. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I bought these for a reason. I would I prefer for Medina to use it, but um, it's not a good opportunity right now. There's not a good time. Ooh, yes. Ow, no. Ow, no. Don't do that. Oh, come on, you idiot. Good job. You at. Um. Okay, Anna's turn is coming up. That is good. Uh. What I really need to do with you is get you up higher? Maybe? You're immune to all status effects, which is still a crazy busted ability. Um. What, what is the range of your bow? That is the range of your bow. I wish I could switch spots with, like, Milo. But maybe, uh, let's see. 78% chance to completely immobilize you, making it so that you can't get in and attack come your next turn is a pretty good call, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I'd say that's a good use of my time. Sure. Try this. Damn it! Seventy-eight percent chance to do it, and it missed. I was prepared. That feels this. bad. Um, so I could throw poison at you, run away, and then take cover. So let's do that. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know why I threw poison. You're immune to it. Whatever. Um, let's move right here and take cover. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Uh, you're gonna shoot Eridor, that's fine. Eridor can take it. Ooh, you doofus! Yes! You ran into the trap. Awesome. That was one of the reasons I wanted to get Huet out of the way. That also did a ton of damage. Do the traps do a percent of uh, your max health, I wonder? Well, ending Evlora's turn like that is a godsend, quite frankly. So that was uh, very, very good. Really, really glad that happened. Just hold on, everyone. There you go, Frederica. Allow me. You have enough to blazing chains Evlora. Blame. There we are. All right, yeah, things are things are going better now. That, that's gonna hurt, but uh. Come at me, Eridor. Hmm. Let's see. If I ram you, nothing will happen. I mean, you're basically boxed in. If I choose to do this, um, eh, 
Maybe it would be better just to... Yeah, let's just get you down here and have you provoke all of these idiots. Um, like right... If I put you right here... Oh, well, you can't provoke it, Blur, anyway. Damn, just not being able to use status effects against a boss is always a bummer. I'll be your shield! We doing this? Uh, alright. Well, I definitely know what I want to do... here. Let's see, so if I... Do that, that's pretty good. I could do that and get a follow-up attack with Sarah Noah. Or I could put another trap down and hope that, um, you run into it trying to get to Medina. That might be worth it. That could work. Oh, you know what would be really cool? If uh, Roland was still alive or Eridor's turn was coming up, um, I would move Sarah Noah, move somebody that can push into that into Sarah Noah Square and push Evlora into the trap. That would be awesome. Uh, all right, who can I slumber shot? 60% chance to sleep. It's obviously not gonna work on you. I still do like the idea of setting a trap here and just hope that you go after Medina in particular. Yeah, let's do that. I like the- that, that trap did a ton of damage and it ended your turn, you which is so a big, naive. big deal for you. For the greater good. Um, let's see, I do just need to drop a healing item on Sarah Noah. Here you go. Eyes are turning. Yeah. So, let's move you... Let's see, you don't have, like, any ranged attacks or anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Greater physical damage will net 50% or less of your max HP. So you do you do have the a, ba a, a very, very powerful red wow. tier stone ring that I need to keep in mind of. You, unfortunately, can't get over there because of Laura's in your spot. That is pain. Choices. Choices. Um, hmm. I don't want to move Milo down there because I, I really, really want you to specifically go after Sarah Noah. I don't want you to have another option that's more appetizing, I guess. Um, this stupid healer is probably going to heal. Oh wait, no, you're 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 uh, enraged, so you're not going to be healing anybody. That's good. Uh, let's see, lower an enemy strength and magic attack and steal one TP. Like I said, that would be really good. I suppose what I could do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about we do that? So, let's moon jump to you. Think you can catch me? And then... Let's use... Ever more lovely. Let's use your, uh... Blue Knight. Because you're not affected Take by status it. effects, but you are affected by that. So, then we can move over here. Um... Space this way, I believe. Defeat Here we are. Is not an option. So, Sarah Noah, where do I want you to run? Oh, you are just completely boxed in, actually. Um. Well, <clears throat> I could sweeping slash all of these jerks, but uh, I feel like I would rather just uh, hawk dive you. And oh, that's not going to kill you. Hmm. I could guarantee that this is a crit. Well, that killed, though. I don't see a better time to use Critical Blow, so let's guarantee that your next attack is a crit. And let's Hawk Dive you. There we are. Just die already. Good stuff. For my kithing kid. And now you can successfully get out of there, like I want. Cool. Please, so what are you going to do, Evlora? Oh, you didn't You'll take the bait. But a blood stain yes. on my blade. Damn it, she didn't take the bait. <laughs> I was really hoping she would take the bait. Oh well. Uh, hi. You can't hit me right here, but I can absolutely hit you. Die, please. And slumber step. There we go. Archer down. That was a pretty good spot to get into, I believe. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to try and blind this jerk. 94% chance. There we go. Okay, you shoot Eridor. Ow. Oh, that's a dead Eridor, I think. Yep. It's fine. These battles are getting really tough, actually. I, I do like that, though. I'm having a fun time with it. Um, 
Okay, I can move Archibald over there the next turn. I'm gonna move you over here. Time for some sorcery. Um, can't really hit anybody with you either, Narv. Just, just chill. Medina's turn is coming up. Aha, at least you Whatever hit the trap. Um, ooh, you have enough jump to get up there, actually. Interesting. Uh, well, that is very, very fortuitous, actually, because I need you to heal. Um, we can just use two of the baby ones, I guess. Or I could just save my... No, uh, there's no point in saving my TP. I have so much of it. Just use uh, two of those. Here you go. That way we refill I'm here to help. both of uh, Serenella's TP. Although you would have got one back at the end of your turn anyway, so... Yeah. Uh, all right, arrow spray, edged arrow. That would hit just you. Let's edged arrow then. Archibald, you might get bopped Ready. here, but it's fine. Um, this jerk's turn is next. I could slumber shot you. Alternately, what I could do is set a, um, like, move right here instead of set a steel trap right here, just in case if Laura tries to go after Sarah Noah again. Because I imagine she will. But she might just stay there. What would your AI do with Laura? That is the question. Oh, if only Eridor is alive, it'd be a perfect... This knight is in a perfect position to be pushed off. Um, maybe I should just start slumber shotting people again. It's only 60% chance, but just shutting down an enemy is so powerful. Um, let's see, if I can get a back attack? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't count. Damn. Please? Oh, 94% chance to hit and I missed. Okay, yeah, you were gonna, you were going for his back. I should have just done that. Uh, the steel trap. I wasn't sure what your AI was gonna do. Wasn't sure if you were gonna go after Sarah Noah or if you were gonna, you know, try and kill um, Archibald. Uh, I actually think I just want to leave you like that for a minute. How much longer are you out? One more turn. Uh, yeah. Once my once my TP refills, I'll attack you again. Um. Let's see. Hawk dive on you. It's pretty good damage. You're doing crazy amounts of damage now. I think I actually just wanted to laying strike rather than do the hawk dive. The hawk dive does slightly more damage, but I would rather live. So yeah, now now uh, Medina's turn comes before Laura's. I think it was barely coming before Laura's earlier, but um, you, yeah. Green Mist, or I could just use the regular fan. This Green Mist attack is just Take too good. You poor thing. This battle is uh -huh. ours. So... Mm. That almost kills you, but you're blinded. I feel like just attacking you of Laura's better. I am in... If I'm going to do that, I shouldn't even move over there, because that makes me in range of that archer. Yeah, just do a little bit of baby damage. Start chipping away. What? All right, you guys are trying to murder uh, Archibald. I'm finally able to get you guys in here. Uh, ooh. Wait, that that works, right? Oh no, I'm just barely too far. Um, what if I move right here? There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Love to see it. There was never a better time to really get you in here, Frederica, so I'm glad I got you in now. I can even get Narv in and drop some uh, more magic on some idiots. Is that enough to kill you? It is! Uh, let's see, just to be sure, let's just use Peral uh, Lightning because it's stronger. Don't be afraid! Boom. I have failed you. You sure have. Give me those exquisite spoils. Boom. Oh. Shit, I forgot. Just beating the boss would end it. Oh well. It's not the biggest deal. 
Obsidian and fiber. Cool. Who cares? It was it was some common spoils, and so it's not the biggest deal. Well, Nito, we win. We have taken your ship. It ends here, Avlora. I am sorry, my queen. Being overtaken by these traitors and failing to protect you is my life's greatest failure. General of Flora! You dare call us traitors? You invaded Glenbrook under the premise of peace! Yeah, I'm kind of confused by Flora's logic here. <laughs> of course Cordelia would want to be with us. If not traitors, then how about Hyzantian dogs? I mean, we did betray you, to be honest. You're, you're probably just mostly pissed off at us for that reason um but it's weird that you're like i don't know you say you're doing this for cordelia because i feel like cordelia probably wants to be with us but whatever we're not hyzantian dogs i i may be a member of the saintly seven but i'm going to try to change things over there every dog has its day and this one shall be mine please stop maxwell stand back cordelia you're not maxwell Nope, sure, <laughs> sure isn't. What? Yeah, that's right. There's no mistaking it. Roland! <laughs> Don't do your evil laugh, please. I see now. <laughs> oh, how I wish I could tell Gustadolf. Stop, Roland! I'm guessing you want to tell Gustadolf just because you want to see the look on his face? If so, fair. I am sorry for all the pain I have caused you, Cordelia. But I will free you from this villain by my own hand. No, Roland! General of Lore is... No! Oh. Cortelia! Why? Damn it, Roland. Why didn't you just listen to your sister? She was telling you to stop. Damn it. Don't ask so rashly. She begged you, man. General of Laura protected me. Oh, that feels bad, because that's a death just because of acting rashly. And it's your sister, too. Damn, Roland. I understand stuff's pretty messed up right now, and Evlora did some pretty messed up things, but jeez. Queen Cordelia! Run, Evlora! Your Majesty, forgive me. Wow, she got away again. Find her. She won't get far with those wounds. Yeah, she just jumped into the water, didn't she? <laughs> Isn't she in, like, a full suit of armor? <laughs> She's just gonna sink to the bottom of the ocean. Just check there. I haven't gotten a good look at uh, Cordelia's armor. Or Cordelia's armor. Evlora's armor recently, but considering um, that it looks like heavy plate mail and the whole thing with S-Frost is their love of iron, I'm imagining she's wearing some pretty heavy iron plate mail and she just dove into the ocean. <laughs> I don't think swimming's gonna work. Queen Cordelia! Gila, she needs a healer. Cordelia? Cordelia! Yeesh. Yeesh. It feels extra bad because there wasn't even really a good reason to do that. Um. <laughs> she the was subdued. The general takes Cordelia and flees on a warship, but Wolfort gives chase, and Evlora throws herself into the Norzelia River. Like, she was down. She was incredibly wounded, Roland. 
We we had her. I understand your need for vengeance and everything, but she's. But tensions are high. It was a you know a passion thing. I, I get it. I also one thing I will say is I don't understand how we don't have uh, Evlora boxed in in these circumstances. Like the one place we didn't have someone standing was the side of the boat she ran off of and jumped. Surround her, people. <laughs> oh boy. Some of the remaining as frosty soldiers fight tooth and nail to keep their hold on the city, but are eventually bested by the Hyzantian army. Though Glenbrook has taken more damage than anticipated, her people are safe, and House Wolford breathes a sigh of relief to see their plan fulfilled. All right, some more character stories. Though the Crown City has been reclaimed, Cordelia suffers grave injuries from shielding of Laura. Yeah, she got stabbed in the stomach by a spear. That's, uh, not a good. Gut wounds are not fun. Gut wounds are a pretty slow, painful death. Um, Roland reminisces during a training session with Sarah Noah. This feels like an odd time for this. I imagine Roland is probably just sitting by Cordelia's bedside the entire time. You've gotten better, my friend. Much better. Only because I've had you to train with. And how far behind would I be without Sir Maxwell's tutelage? The Dawnspear himself is my personal mentor. And still you're all but my equal. It's been a while since we last sparred. It takes time to adapt to a new opponent. Perhaps so. Anyhow, I always enjoy our skirmishes. No better way to clear my head after another quarrel with father. Mm-hmm. Must all three nations be part of this mining venture? I've yet to hear a convincing argument as to why. Is this going to be... No, it's, it's pretty much the same art for you. You do not hear because you do not listen. You, though? Current King Glimbrook, Revere's the Wise King, Monster Joint Mining Venture. Yeah, we haven't seen your thing in a bit. Hyzant offers nothing but a sliver of their vast riches. Something we could easily do without. I understand the advantage of involving Esfrost. Their expertise speeds things along immeasurably. But Hyzant? Have you at least demanded they lower the taxes on salt? Such a change would be welcomed by our subjects and enrich their daily lives. We cannot concede everything while gaining naught in return. Surely you see this, father. It has been decided, and I will hear no more. You presume upon matters you do not comprehend. But father, I'm just... Now, Roland, if there is nothing else, pray leave me be. I have more important matters to attend to. Yes, father. Yeah. I mean, I get where, we're, where both of them are coming from, I suppose. If only I had found the right words. If only I had kept my emotions in check. Perhaps things would have ended differently. Okay, never mind. This is a great conversation to have after the thing that happened with Cordelia. Blaming yourself for past mistakes will lead you nowhere. You must look forward for the opportunities ahead. I guess I don't properly... It happens instantly for me. They travel across the map, but it probably took a, a, at least a day or two, maybe, to get back to um, the castle. So Roland would have time that he's basically just stewing, and it makes sense that he would want to get his mind off of things by sparring with Sarah Noah. Of course. And I trust you'll be at my side come that time. Just as House Wolfort stands with the crown, I stand with you. 
I am fortunate to have as loyal a friend as you. As am I. Ah, enough sentimentality. Raise your spear so I can knock it down. You're welcome to try, my friend. Look at these two. Best friends. Alright, so I wonder what the other character story is. So now his convictions have been strengthened. Medina pledges herself to Hal for it so that she could save people regardless of the order of things. However... However what? Is there still going to be an order of things? By the goddess. If it isn't my savior, I am truly in your debt. I remember you. I treated you at the ministry that day. I feared it was the end, but thanks to you, I yet live! I was not alone in treating you. And I am happy to see you well. I hear tell the infirmary was overwhelmed that day. How fortunate the other man was a uh, Rosellen. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't say that. Never have I felt more blessed to belong to the goddess's flock. Praise be the goddess. May her blessings rain upon you. Blech. I do not mean to pry, but was that... Yes. It is he who survived, at the expense of the Roselin man's life. Had we treated the Roselin first, we might have saved them both. But I could not find the courage to disobey orders. And, in the eyes of the faithful, you acted in accordance with the goddess's teachings. Denying medical treatment to non-believers is certainly one way for the Holy One to breed loyalty amongst Hyzant's subjects. Oh, be that as it may, if only I'd had the courage of my convictions. The courage to give both their lives equal weight. I... It is hard for one drop to alter the current. So it is. Nevertheless, I wish to try. You won't be just one drop. We're gonna make a big ol' rain. We're gonna make a big ol' storm cloud. Well, that's a sweet one. I really do hope at the end of this we get to free the Roselin somehow. I would, I would really, really enjoy that. Alright, so... Let's go back to the encampment, because there are... a few things we can take care of over here. Uh, Alright, so... What do I want to do? I am starting to feel Narv less and less. I don't know, I feel like the few past few battles he hasn't been super useful. But... I don't know, I'm probably just not utilizing him well, and this Pierce defense ability is very, very good. Uh, okay. So, someone has an upgrade available. I have a bunch of, uh, kudos. So, I could get fleet-footed, raise the movement of all allies by two. Eh. Slop out one of your party members, revive a fallen ally with full HP. Mm, pretty good things. I think I'm just gonna save up. So that I can get one of those. There's not like a document or something for me to get, right? No. Okay. Well, someone can be promoted. I... Hmm. Hmm. Eridor has been dying a lot. Desperate defense. Decreases damage taken when HP is at 50% or below. Yeah, I think I want this just to help keep Eridor alive a little bit more. I am using Eridor so much, and I don't know. I need him to be able to live. This bundled with the um, regeneration thing that he has will probably make him quite powerful. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and change you to Master Guardian. Eridor. Haha! -ha! Ain't no way I'd lose. Yeah, I've, I've unfortunately made you die a few times, friend, but... Maybe now this will help uh, alleviate that a little bit. So, yeah, you got that now. So you're in your at 50% HP. You just straight up take reduced damage. That seems pretty damn good. All right. So done there. I do have a lot of money to spend. 
What can we upgrade? Um, there were... I really need to, like, leave notes for what upgrades I want to get on what units. Increased accuracy could be nice on Huet. Critical hit rate against... Ooh, that is very good. Quality timber and quality fiber. And this just takes timber and fiber. You know what? Give me that. Just increased accuracy is pretty good to have. Um, I might buy some quality fiber so I can actually do that upgrade on Huet. I don't know. Let's see here. What do you got? Uh, no new battle. Yeah, we haven't entered a new chapter yet, I suppose. Just want to check, just in case I missed anything. I do need to buy some more of these. And one more of those. And two more of those. We're still good on poison recovery tablets, and I didn't use that much slit spice in that last battle, so I think we're good there as well. Uh, HP amulet, defense amulet, accuracy amulet, evasion amulet, jade thumb ring. Eh. Yeah, I think I'll just get some. Um, it was quality fiber that I needed, right? I just want to be sure before I buy it. Yeah, quality fiber. Okay. We'll grab some of those. So, let's just go over here so we can get to it easier. So, I need five. Oh, you only have three. Damn. Well, let's just buy up all of the quality stuff that you have. So, I can upgrade some people. Let's see. Can I afford to upgrade anybody now? Benedict and Narv. Hmm. Yeah, Narv, maybe. I need that quality timber for the upgrade for Huet, though, so eh, I think I will hold off on it. Alright, well, with that, I think we can go ahead and leave the encampment, and we can just start checking out some more cutscenes and stuff. Alrighty, still got Whiteholm surrounded. Let's see what's going to happen with Cordelia. Hopefully she's fine. At least it wasn't a chest stab through the heart. It looks like she's overcome the worst of it. Once she wakes up, she should be fine. Oh, okay, that's good news. Thank you, Minister Lila. She would not have made it without you. Glenbrook was our ally during the fight against Esfrost. You need not thank me, Prince. My apologies. I suppose I should call you King Roland now. No. My enthronement has yet to be announced. I see. I shall take my leave. No, give me back Milo. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I want her. Thank goodness. But why, Cordelia? Why did you shield our enemy? Well, they built a rapport while they were trapped there together. It does also make sense that, yeah, Roland would... It, it, it would be inconceivable to Roland that Cordelia would protect Evlora, but she was screaming to stop, man. But well, everybody was probably just caught up in the moment. Okay, let's go ahead and overwrite that save file and see what we got in the next chapter. We had two back to back battles there, but things seem to be calming down now. Imagine now we're going to start towards Esfrost. Overwhelmed by the forces of House Wolfhort. Esfrost's troops are scattered and driven from the Crown City. Glenbrook, at last, is free. Several days after this fateful battle, Queen Cordelia announces her intent to abdicate the throne and make way for another. Roland Glenbrook, his face no longer hidden from the world, will take his rightful place at the seat of power. With the prince's friends having only just finished grieving his death, and his enemies having only just finished toasting to it, this news shocks the foundations not only of Glenbrook, but of Norzelia itself. By routing Esfrost's forces and leaving the city unscathed, House Wolford displays their martial prowess and their loyalty to their liege. The prince becomes king, and condemns the schemes of Gustadolf, making known Esfrost's plot to usurp the throne. 
However, the people's reaction to this news is not quite a chorus of approval. Yeah, they probably just don't want to deal with war at all. They don't... You probably... Most of them don't really give a shit who's on the throne. <laughs> as long as they're just treated well. It is plain that the ravages of war and the shame of subjugation have left an indelible mark on the once prosperous nation. Yeah, unfortunate. Although the battle for Glenbrook is behind them, Serenoa and the rest of the city's liberators must make ready for a struggle of an entirely different sort. Civil war, unrest... It makes sense. The people didn't want to be a part of this war, but unfortunately they're the tools of the machinations of all of the higher-ups, nobility, and political leaders. So they're kind of just in the middle of this a lot of the time, which sucks. Chapter 14, Part 2. Glory Shall Find You. Alright, let's see what's going on. Sorry, Glenbrook, I did the best I could. I like to think I took the best path, best path to keep you guys happy. Congratulations on returning to your rightful throne, King Roland. Ah, you returned. My friend, a word. Yes. I am honored to have had you by my side on this journey. To be able to call you friend. As am I, Roland. Your Majesty, representatives from Hyzant have arrived. We shan't make undue demands of your time, King Roland. We've simply come to say farewell. Without your aid, my people would still be under Esfrost's iron rule. Glenbrook owes you a debt of gratitude. Consider the debt paid. The knowledge we gleaned of Elfric's capabilities was more than worth our troubles. Indeed, it surpassed my every expectation. The Holy One is sure to be pleased with the results. Your Majesty, can we trust you to lift the embargo and keep Esfrost subdued? Of course. Lord Wolfort has promised his full cooperation in that regard. Your Majesty, lest you misunderstand your friend's position, allow me to make one matter abundantly clear. Minister Serenoa is of the Saintly Seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue, isn't it? I'm a, I'm a bit tied up in two different alliances here. Uh, I can tell you which one I probably don't want to side with, but uh, I would like to try and change them from the inside if possible. He is not to serve at your whims, but by the grace of the Hierophant. I understand, but he is also a Lord of Glenbrook. More importantly, he is my friend. As such, I would ask for his assistance in the days ahead, as I have in days past. Your Majesty, it is plain that the friendship between you two runs deep. However, the rules of politics are old and immutable. Do they have to be? <laughs> I don't think they have to be. I mean, weren't you the one talking about how we need to change things, Exham? I would be down for getting rid of the old, stupid, set-in-stone rules. And what does the Lord himself think of his new position? Of course, I am grateful for the honor Hyzant has bestowed upon me. I will do all in my power to serve both the Hierophant and King Roland with all faithfulness. In other words, the Hierophant does not have your full loyalty. Mm, no, not really. Honestly, if I wasn't trying to butter you guys up right now, I would say I really have no loyalty to the Hierophant. I'm gonna be honest. Well, I... Glenbrook and Hyzant are to be two nations united in purpose. Surely it is reasonable that Lord Serenoa acts in service to both? Perhaps King Roland and the Hierophant should discuss my lord's role together. Hmm, Benedict coming in with the, with the plays. He even adjusted his glasses. You are right, of course. It is not our place to assume the goddess's intent. 
Very well. I hope to meet with the Holy One as soon as my duties allow. I expect busy days ahead for you, Sarah Noah. Be prepared. Oh, ex -harem. what are you scheming? I don't like it. I don't like your little dot dot dots. Certainly, Your Majesty. Milo shall stay in Glenbrook for the time being. If there is aught she can assist you with, consider her at your complete disposal. Hmm? Okay, I do like Milo. Remember, Milo, that you are the symbol of friendship between our two nations. <laughs> but of course, I live to serve, Minister. She's a fantastic unit, happy to have her. And with that, we shall take our leave. May we meet again soon. Hmm, that was sketchy. They leave us with a spy. It seems we still haven't won their trust entirely. Yeah, I mean, My Milo's spying on us, sure, but, uh... She's also a really good unit, so... Whatever secrets they uncover will only attest to our commitment to the friendship between us. Still, their actions speak volumes. Their aid has not come without expectation of just recompense. Already, they seek to make Lord Saranoa their puppet. As I'm surprised, well, I mean, I guess I'm not surprised, because, um, you know, we kind of just took over. But, uh, once we actually see what is in the mine, uh, stuff's probably gonna pop off, right? Or have we, have we even recaptured the mine from the Asfrosti yet? I think I saw the mine included in our new borders, but the Asfrosti may still hold it at the moment. But we need Hyzant's aid to crush Esfrost. By the same token, we cannot resist Hyzant without Esfrost's might. And once Esfrost is laid low, Glenbrook will have served its purpose. What then would stop Hyzant from tightening their grip? Mmm, these are, these are questions. I feel like it's kind of impossible for me to side with uh, Esfrost at this point, unless I specifically dethrone Gustadolf and have Svalrog and Evlora on my side. That Esfrost I would be more happy to side with, and I think they would have me more. Well, Evlora's still pretty pissed off at me, but um, Svalrog would be, would be happy to help me out. I still don't know how that whole thing went with Gustadolf and Svalrog. But uh, if it was Svalrog and Evlora in Hyzant or in Esfrost, I would be willing to work with them against Hyzant. Otherwise, I might just have to work with Hyzant. Just as they did with the Rosal. The injustice I saw at the source is not something I'll soon forget. If you require proof of Hyzant's true nature, you need only remember. I know. I know. This country is my home. Built by my father and the kings before him. Safeguarded by my sister and generations of my forebears. I will rebuild it. Restore its glory and its pride. We will not be treated as dogs at the end of a leash. This is a really hairy situation because it's like, yeah, yay, we got revenge on Thalus and Erica and we ousted Esfrost from our city, but there are, there are still a lot of questions now. The alliance we had with Esfrost was a shaky, or er, er, uh, with uh, Hyzant was a shaky one. That was basically just because we both needed each other. So now it's like, you know, it's a power struggle of who's going to find out who's going to be in charge of the other one, basically. It is a scary thought. For now, we must look within. Only after that work is done, should we look without. All right. All right. Sorry, stifling a yawn there. It's pretty late right now. So, the Crown City has fallen. I see. And what of General Avlora? It's nice to get an update on this situation now. She fell into the Norzelia River and has not been seen since. Okay, so she did actually fall into the river. I had an idea for a second where I was like, okay, maybe she didn't fall into the river 
Oh yeah, also, I said it was an ocean earlier. That was not an ocean. They don't have an ocean here. Um, but... I had a thought that maybe there was like a lifeboat on the side of the boat, and she jumped into that and maybe got away, but she wouldn't be paddling very quickly, so... And my siblings, Thalos and Erica. Oh, super, super dead. Left them the rod on the bridge. They died fighting bravely in battle. My condolences, Your Grace. Hey. I understand. I have fewer pieces on the board than ever now. Yeah, I mean, it, as shitty as Erica and Thalys were, it really just speaks volumes of Gustadolf's character to refer to his siblings as pieces on the board. What a jackass. Pieces. Really is true what they say about him. It seems I was wrong to think that Hyzant would remain idle. Or was my more grievous heir to be taken in by the prince's false death? Hmm. Regardless, I was a fool to show House Wolford any mercy. Yeah, that was pretty stupid of you. Both you and Hyzan did it, and you might both pay for it. <laughs> Your Grace, reports from the battlefield tell of an unknown weapon being brought to bear against our forces. Oh? Continue. A purple explosion was seen when the bridge to Castle Whiteholm collapsed. That bridge has weathered the elements for untold generations. It appears the weapon of Laura indicated in her report has been completed sooner than we anticipated. We mustn't allow Heisen to think they've won the upper hand. I intend to answer their weapon with one of my own. What is going on with Svalrog? I want an update on, on our friend. Glory shall find you completed. Okay, that was a short chapter. Um, I could end it here, but we got time. We'll, we'll, we'll go for the other 12 minutes here. After retaking Whiteholm Castle, Roland assumes the throne. Joy over the return of the line of Glenbrook sweeps the kingdom. Yet not everyone is quick to welcome Roland back with open arms. Life under as frosty rule treated them well, and they suspect him to be naught but a figurehead of a puppet regime. Oh wow. Yeah, yes, yeah, Frosty treated you guys well, huh? See, this is what I'm saying, like the people, a lot of people don't really care about who's actually on the throne because it doesn't really affect them that much. But, uh, yeah, apparently Esferos uh, treated them pretty well. Roland's absence, it seems, made room for discord among his subjects to flourish. Chapter 15, Part 1, A Banner's Worth. Banner Saga? I do love me some Banner Saga. That's a dream LP one day. Love those games. There you are, your majesty. Ah, Huet. Pray, do not sound so dismal. Now that we have retaken Whiteholm Castle, you are Glenbrook's rightful king. We've an entire kingdom to rebuild out of the ruins of war. Patriot and the others have been demanding utmost haste. Well, Patriot can go to hell. I understand that. I do. But... How are we not even, like, ripping uh, Patriot's title from him anyway? You could say that, oh, they don't know that Patriot was doing that, but we have Julio in the party, and Julio... Has, is a witness to the stuff that Hatriat did. So even if we didn't know otherwise, which I'm imagining Cord Cordelia probably saw Patriot uh, licking boots, we at least have another testimony from Yulia, so I'm actually really surprised Patriot still has his position. Oh, Cordelia. If I should lose you too, I... I... I know you have suffered many hardships. But pray, do not let yourself succumb to despair. 
Yeah, that would be rough to get over. That that would be very, very, very hard. Me, our comrades, your people. All of us are eagerly awaiting the era of peace our new king will bring. King, eh? My father never once let his emotions overcome him. Not even the day my mother died. I had every intention of following his stoic example, but... Majesty, I bring word from the infirmary. I do like here that, um... <clears throat> they are having Roland kind of point out his flaw and kind of tangle with it and everything. Because uh, clearly Roland can let his emotions take uh, the better of him a lot. And he can get kind of in his own mind about things. So I do like that they're specifically pointing out him struggling with this character flaw now. Um, rather than just having him be like, oh, I made a mistake, oh well. So, that's cool. It's a cool bit of character development. <clears throat> Is it Cordelia? Pray tell me she's alright. She is indeed recovering a pace, Your Majesty. Oh, thank the stars. It seems she has something to discuss with you all, if you will hear her out. Of course. Tell her we'll speak in the garden. But only if it will not tax her over much. Yes, sir. Huet, fetch Serano and the rest. Tell them to come to the garden as soon as they are able. Twould be my pleasure. What is it? You're smiling. Uh, it's only... I thought it would be some time yet before I saw you look so at ease. I'll return shortly with the others. Cordelia, you returned to me after so long. But slow and steady is the path to recovery. Yes, there is no rush. All right, there we go. Well, I'm happy she's recovered and there doesn't seem, seem to be any detrimental effects associated with it. So that is what happened in my absence. Yes. Gustadolf was a clever ruler. After the invasion, Patriot and his royalists cozied up to Espros in order to protect themselves. Ooh, okay, now here we go. Here we go. Cordelia's spilling the beans now. Cool, cool. I was I was hoping Patriot was gonna get what was coming to him, so. Gustadolf used them to his every advantage. He stripped them of their privileges and left them nothing but their governing responsibilities. I don't think Patriot much cared for that, but it did ensure everything continued smoothly without interrupting the people's lives. Now I understand why there was little unrest after the occupation began. A clean, effective takeover by a well-seasoned commander. But all the while, he is preparing to face the next conflict. Wait, does he intend to march on Hyzant next? I believe so. I wish I could be more specific. But the Goddess's shield cannot protect the Holy State's capital from Esfrost. Not anymore. He said it will all be over once the Death Snell is ready. What is this Death Snell? A new weapon born from the coupling of his frosty ironworking and explosive projectiles. Thallus claimed it is powerful enough to break through the goddess's shield. To think Esfrost is capable of creating such a monstrosity. I'm not missing the stuff about Svalrog, right? The last we heard of that situation was um, Gustadolf retreating to go deal with the situation with Svalrog. Has it already been dealt with now? Because didn't they need Svalrog's research to make the Death Snow? I I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm forgetting a cutscene or something where it was covered that Svalrog's down and Gustadolf got him. But ah, so much for their reign of peace. Taking over Glenbrook was only the first move in a bigger gambit to seize the source. I am disturbed to learn of Gustadolf's plan. But rebuilding our capital must take priority. Very well. We should investigate the extent of the damage and discuss how best to proceed from there. 
House Wolfort will lend whatever aid you need. Thank you, Sarah Noah. Are we going to have to appoint some new people to, like, the Fox Domain and... I mean, Teleor as well, I suppose. <clears throat> but since you are one of their saintly seven now, I'd ask you to keep an eye on Hyzant as well. <sighs> Cordelia? Apologies. A brief spell of dizziness. I have been looking everywhere for you, Your Highness. Oh my god. Look at you. Look at you! A patriot. I do not recall giving you leave of the infirmary. Your injuries are still healing. What's with this what's with this voice you have? You sounded way more seedy and like an asshole. Are you are you faking it? When you were talking to Yulio that time. I think you're faking it. You're bootlicking again. Would you undo all the trouble I went through to get you the best of care? Pray return to the infirmary at once. <sighs> it wouldn't do to push yourself, Cordelia. Rest now. Leave everything to me. All right. I suppose it would be harder to strip Patriot of everything and we'd lose a lot of support doing so, but I still don't like it. He's just hanging out. We got a pretty good understanding of the damage in the capital, my lord. It's uh, a tad more than we were expecting. You don't say. Damn, this is with me going the route that specifically spared the city, too. Jeez. I see. Then we must make haste with repairs. Let's report this to Hyzant and see what aid they can give us. Was there anything of note besides damage? There ain't an easy way of putting this, but not everyone's exactly pleased to hear Prince Roland's returned. Esfrost exempted Glenbrook's subjects from the salt tax. Likely a bid to get in everyone's good graces. A damn good one at that. Wow, that is a good one. So we should go to the mine and mine a bunch of salt and keep the exemption going, right? But more than that, the so-called freedom Gustadolf brought to the kingdom seems to have made a splash. He threw out the old ways and made it so anyone could better their lot in life depending on their ability instead of their birthright. I am i mean, I think we should keep that, personally. I, I think that's still good. Gustadolf's taking advantage of it, but I don't think it's an, in, an inherently bad system, at least not worse than doing everything by birthright. Just as in Esfrost. Then the people must have looked quite favorably upon Gustadolf's rule. I wager folks ain't too pleased to see us since they figure it means things will go back to how they used to be. They don't have to. Uh, Roland surmised as much. We must do something to show the people his is a return worth celebrating. Anna? Have you looked into the state of affairs in the castle? Yes. The head of the Royalists, Minister Patriot, is extending his influence. He made quite the name for himself, even under Gustadolf. Though he seems eager enough to support King Roland, he was just as eager to serve the Archduke. I do not believe we can trust him. Distinguished members of House Wolfort, how hard you are all working to rebuild our capital. What a delightful thing to see. Minister, you do us a great honor visiting us out of all the many other responsibilities that must vie for your attention. Oh, come now, do not think yourself so insignificant. The entire kingdom owes you its thanks, myself included, of course. We are so grateful for House Wolfort's aid even though you now serve a different master. We are only doing what any of King Roland's loyal vassals would. <laughs> that was a very pointed comment. Uh, speaking of the king, I'm afraid we've a bit of a problem. His majesty seems to be entertaining thoughts of retaliating against Esfrost. But the people have had their fill of war. And I'm sure you're already aware the people look upon the royal line with this favor. <sighs> I only beg you take every care going forward. Uh, 
a warning. I, I mean, I do think hopping back into the war immediately is probably not a good call. We need to rebuild and lick our wounds a little bit, and the people would hate it if we just immediately hopped back in the war. Um, so I don't agree with Roland here, actually. Get where he's coming from, but I don't agree with it. Even so, there is naught we can do but focus on rebuilding. Indeed. Let us return to the king and apprise him of our progress. I would walk the city with Gila a bit longer and speak with the people. As you wish. But this is not the capital you knew. Be careful, my love. Alrighty. Is that it for the cutscenes? If so, we might end things off. Okay, cool. So that is it. Four character stories, huh? Well, I'll keep that a surprise for next time. I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Triangle Strategy off here. A lot of plot development and everything happening, so that's cool. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.